Welcome back today, friends. We are doing a whole bunch of big variation of protein bites. We got peanut butter, we got chocolate chips, we got shredded coconut. You'll see so many good things. And Zion is working on getting together probably about 50 or so of those sausage and English muffin breakfast sandwiches. We were gonna do a bunch of sandwiches for the freezer, but I know once I get done with all these things that involve peanut butter, I'm gonna be low on peanut butter. So we must go back to get more peanut butter and we'll do more sandwiches another day. So here are some of the items that I'm using for the protein bites. This all won't be in every single little protein bite, but like I say, good variety. I need to get my old fashioned oats out as well. And with a lot of these too, these, will, these can also be gluten free, but of course you need to make sure that you are using gluten free, certified gluten free oats. That is definitely something to look for. You can probably tell maybe by my collection of dishes on the counter. I just got done doing a whole bunch, I think 20 or so, healthy freezer meals from the Instapot slow cooker and oven. Those are in the freezer. Now we're gonna get these together and then I'm gonna clean this kitchen. Okay, okay. I was also saying a lot of my measuring cups <laughs> are not available right now. So I'm gonna do my Jim Rill eyeballing school, but for you all, the first link down in the description below will be to take you to largefamilytable.com and it will have all the proper measure measurements on making these yourselves. So I'm gonna put a bunch of peanut butter in here and I'm eyeballing. I want about two cups. I'm gonna get my base recipe out with peanut butter, rolled oats, flax seed, and honey. And then we'll work on adding different variations with our raisins, craisins, walnuts, but I'm gonna break those down some more chocolate chips and coconut oils. So this is going to be a cranberry coconut protein bite. I put it in this little plastic container. We'll get it in the refrigerator. It's gonna stay in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour. I have several of these containers for different variations. We'll go ahead and get this chilling. And then at that point, we'll be able to roll these into the little protein bite balls. I'm going to again do eyeball in school, but about two cups of peanut butter. I did find one measuring cup that I can work with now. And this time I think we will do raisins. And yum, chocolate chips, hello. Look, I just split that whole thing open. These will get used. And I am eyeballing about a fourth of a cup of honey. There we go. So this was two cups of peanut butter one cup of old-fashioned oats, a half a cup of raisins, a half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and a fourth of a cup of honey. Did I already say a half a cup of milled flax? If not, there you go, I said it. So these are coconut walnut, yum. Oh, I just, I wanna add chocolate chips to everything, but I shall, I, I shall behave. <laughs> okay, coconut walnut protein bites. Mm, 
Okay, Daniel and Amelia are here supervising me now. I want to help you. Move. I know. Well, I'm putting them in the bowls right now, and then we're going to mm -hmm. chill them, and then we'll wash our hands really well and roll them into little balls. Take this cup and put two of these in here. Yes, perfect. Bring that on over. Okay, so we've got some cocoa powder. This will be very chocolatey. It'll be like a cocoa protein. Like, thank you. Chocolate. Yes. Yeah, this one has a full cup of chocolate chips, about a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder, two mm. cups of peanut butter, cup of old-fashioned oats, honey. Liam is gonna pick what he wants in this next batch, okay? We need to add our regular things that we need. So I need you to put two of these. Yeah, I'm gonna put the, the last one. Uh-huh, put those in. That's our one cup of oatmeal. Okay, so here you go. Liam, dump in the chocolate chips. Okay, and then get yourself half a cup of raisins. Sounds good, now we're gonna do Amelia's order. Can I put the honey in? You can, doing our old fashioned oats. So you see, you can kind of get a station going and then kids can make a variety of combinations. It's a fun way to get good protein filled snacks in your freezer and ready to go. See if Amelia can get some craisins in the protein bites without eating the craisins. Can you do that? <laughs> They're really good. Okay, so here are our bowls of our six different variations of these protein bites. I'm gonna get these in the refrigerator now, and then we'll get these out and roll these into balls here in about an hour or so. So Miss Amelia and I, we are gonna work on cleaning up our counter. So you can tell that that is a bunch of fun, kid-friendly cooking. They loved rolling all of those protein bite balls. I've done some freezer cooking using these giant pans before, and we have three layers in here of a variety of protein balls. And then we've got this other pan with also three layers. So I'm gonna go and get these in the outside freezers now. We'll get them later to put them in bags.
Okay, I don't know about you, but I am surprised at all that just came out from behind my refrigerator. It has been several weeks since I have done a deep cleaning on my kitchen and several weeks since I've taken a turn sweeping it. And I know when I do it, I usually check behind the refrigerator. So case in point, we'll be having more conversations about make sure you check behind the refrigerator. There's all kinds of interesting things going on there. But oh well, I guess, or I should say yay, I found it, so let's keep on going. So, what some of my interesting finds, we've got a Matthew C block, and I protect these. We have Matthew C blocks from 13, almost 14 years ago when I first started homeschooling, so I always pick these up. Got one of my Expo markers and a good pencil, so those will live. And then we've got a bunch of like kitchen cleaning, washcloths, pair of socks, so. Yeah, these are going in the laundry. Well, friends, thank you for staying up late with me and making all of those, the variety of protein bites. And thank you for giving this kitchen a little bit of a deep scrubbing with me. Had a whole lot of dishes. One of my teens did a lot of the dishes last night after I did all of that freezer meal prep work. But there were still some pans. And then of course, the pan of the meatballs I forgot in the oven overnight and there were just some things left evidence of all the prep work i did yesterday so that's it we're gonna i'm gonna get a shower now because we're going to washington dc in the morning i'm gonna ride the metro i'm gonna see those cherry blossoms do all the things check all the fun dc boxes the recipe for making those freezer friendly protein bites will be linked down in the description below you can always go to largefamilytable.com to get all of my free large family recipes and i'll see you next time with another brand new video good night